Hello Koi, here's our COVID-19 briefing from Team Koi from Monday, November 23rd. As of Monday morning, we have four new on-island cases to report in addition to the nine cases reported over the weekend. Today's cases included one adult resident and three adult visitors. One of the new cases participated in the state's pre-travel program but did not receive a positive test result until after arrival. This brings our number of active cases to 23 with 117 cumulative cases. Koi's cumulative case count includes 103 confirmed locally, one probable and 13 positive cases diagnosed elsewhere since they had tests taken on the mainland but did not receive their positive results until after arrival. There are now 101 individuals in health department directed quarantine and that number may grow as case investigations continue. All active cases are in isolation and there are currently no hospitalizations. Uh, we are very sad to report today Koi's first on-island fatality of an elderly male resident who passed Monday morning due to COVID-19. He had no travel history. And we speak on behalf of our entire community when we offer our sincere condolences. Our hearts and prayers are with his family and loved ones. The Koi Police Department and the National Guard are tracking approximately 1,700 individuals in travel-related quarantine. For additional information on our COVID cases, please visit koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. We are facing alarming COVID-19 numbers on our island as well as across the nation. Koi reported 18 new cases in the past four days. That is the highest consistent rate of new infections that we've seen all year. And this is not just a tourist problem. Nearly half of our recent cases are residents. So all travel and all travelers pose an increased risk to our island. We're also seeing a rise in community transmission and we are becoming increasingly concerned about the possibility of infections that could result from Thanksgiving gatherings. While we are pleased to see more people, many of our recent travel related cases tested negative before travel, but then tested positive for COVID-19 by the time they were on island. We have asked Koei District Health Officer, Dr. Janet Perriman to address some of the special issues around the holidays. Thank you, Mayor Kawakami. We are at a dangerous junction right now. Cases are rising as we knew they would. The rising travel cases have translated into new cases of community transmission. And now the Thanksgiving holiday is upon us. We know that social gatherings are a primary source of disease transmission. The more gatherings we have and the larger they are, the more our cases will rise. The increases we are seeing now are a reflection of increased travel from the mainland where coronavirus is raging. Since October 15th, when travelers were allowed to avoid quarantine with a single negative test before travel, on Kauai we have had 53 new cases. 43 of those were travelers, 24 visitors, and 19 residents returning from travel. Most of those had a negative pre-travel test, but still came down with COVID here on Kauai. The Safe Travels program did not prevent those cases. Twelve more cases had a positive pre-travel test, but received their results only after their arrival on the island. The Safe Travels program did not prevent those cases either. The other 10 cases of COVID in residents who did not travel are of anything an even greater cause for alarm. Four of those residents were in close contact with travelers. The other six are residents for whom we cannot identify any link to a traveler. These are cases of community transmission without a travel connection. We have not seen community transmission in our county since July. This is alarming. It is especially alarming as we plan for Thanksgiving celebrations and gatherings just a few days from now. We still have an opportunity to have a safe holiday to celebrate without inviting the virus to spread more widely in our community. But it requires changing plans and making sacrifices. For a safe Thanksgiving, please do not celebrate with people outside your immediate household. And please do not gather with people who have recently traveled. If you must have non-household members or travelers in your home for Thanksgiving, make sure that everyone stays masked that you maintain social distance, frequently wash hands, and hold activities outdoors. When masks are off for eating and drinking, non-household members and travelers must put extra distance between themselves and others. 
COVID-19 is spreading in our community right now. This Thanksgiving season rolls right into the Christmas season, and we don't want to remember the 2020 holidays as the season when we lost control of this pandemic. We have had months of success in keeping this disease under control. Vaccines are about to be available. We need to hold on through the holiday season and maintain the protective practices that we know have kept us safe. Thank you for your patience, your persistence, and your continued hard work to keep Kauai safe. Mahalo. Thank you, Dr. Berriman. While we currently remain in tier four, the dramatically increasing case count is threatening to restrict our activities. If our daily cases continue at the current rate, it could quickly drive us to tier three or even tier two. Effective Tuesday, November 24th, the state will require that travelers who wish to avoid quarantine by participating in the state's Safe Travels program must have their pre-travel test results uploaded prior to flying. Anyone who arrives without a negative test result must enter a full 14-day quarantine on arrival. This is a step in the right direction, but we do not believe it is adequate to protect our community from the spread of this disease. We have also asked the governor to require travelers to take a mandatory post-travel test at least three days after arrival with a mandatory quarantine until a second test can be confirmed. The governor is still considering this proposed rule. Meanwhile, we are obtaining the resources required to carry out that level of testing should he honor our request. If our request is denied, we are considering other protective measures we could propose to bolster the state's program and address our island's unique needs. In addition to travel-related testing programs, the County of Kauai, in partnership with the Hawaii State Department of Health, is providing free COVID-19 community testing at rotating sites every Sunday through the end of the year. So far, we've tested 607 residents, which discovered four positive. Additionally, yesterday, our team tested 518 people at Hanapepe Stadium, and we expect test results by the end of the week. These tests are available to all residents for free, including those who are uninsured. The next testing site will be this Sunday, November 29th at Vidina Stadium. Testing is available every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. through December 27th. Participants should register in advance at koi.gov forward slash test. Bring your registration confirmation and an ID to the testing site. Test results are expected in three to five days. Save at least 15 minutes of wait time by pre-registering at koi.gov forward slash test. Folks, if you're experiencing symptoms and have health insurance, please contact your physician immediately. Please do not wait for surge testing to be tested. As an important reminder, these tests are not part of the state's pre-travel testing program and cannot be used for quarantine exemptions. For those who are visiting or recently returned home from the mainland travel, post-travel testing is available on a voluntary basis. This program is free for residents. Please visit koi.gov forward slash COVID-19 and click on one of the post-travel testing buttons. To qualify for a post-travel test, you must have participated in the state's pre-travel test program. If you have not participated in the state's pre-travel testing program, there is no option to test out of quarantine once you arrive. The Built Environment Task Force has created the Kupa'a Kauai Transportation Challenge, which asks our island residents to share stories and ideas about how they've shifted their transportation modes to healthier and less expensive alternatives during this time of COVID-19. You can post your thoughts on Instagram or Facebook, tag them with hashtag rolling Kauai forward. If you don't have an Instagram or Facebook, forward your ideas via email to kauaibetftransit at gmail.com. The challenge continues through November 30th. In observance of Thanksgiving Day, County of Kauai offices will be closed on Thursday, November 26th, along with all refuse transfer stations and the Kikaha Landfill, the Kapa'a and Waimea Swimming Pools, Hanapepe Sunshine Market, High Five Bottle Redemption, and Puhi Meadows Recycling Center will be closed. However, the schedule for residential refuse pickup will remain unchanged. Normal business hours for county offices and services will resume on Friday, November 27th. Kauai Bus will not be operating on Thanksgiving Day, November 26th. For the most up-to-date information on bus transportation, please call the Koi Bus 
at 246-8110 or visit the Transportation Agency's website at kuai.gov forward slash transportation. We thank you for understanding the role you play in mitigating the spread of COVID-19 on our island. Please continue to stay home as much as possible. Refrain from social gatherings or public outings. If you must interact with people outside of your home, maintain a distance of six feet of separation and wear a mask, if at all possible for you to do so. Remember, my mask protects you and your mask protects me. It's a sign of respect and aloha. Do not leave home if you are sick unless you're seeking medical attention and then only after calling your doctor first. Wash your hands frequently and clean surfaces often. Stay informed and connected during this time of social distancing. We'll continue to post updates on our official County of Kauai Facebook page or on our Kauai Emergency Management Agency page at www.kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. The Centers for Disease Control is also updating its website regularly. For more information, please visit coronavirus.gov. Not everyone has internet access or follows the news, so please help to keep your loved ones informed. Be kind, take care of one another, God bless, and aloha. <laughs>